to be the flop shot. And I've pretty much researched and found three drills that are going to help even the, uh, the most amateur player execute flop shots. So the first drill I've got is with a tee. And what we're going to do is we're going to tee the ball up as high as we possibly can. So we're talking and teaching this to our students. We just want to go over a couple things. Is with a flop shot, you know, if we're going to 10 to 30 yards from the green, we want them to take a full swing. And not only do we want to take them full swing, we actually want them to get almost one plane. We don't want them to be steep. We want them to sweep under the ball with dead hands. And what that's going to do, it's going to allow the ball to get up in the air. We're going to utilize the loft of the club. So the reason that we're using the tee we just literally want to practice this shot by hitting just the tee and letting the ball fall straight down. And what, what that'll do is they'll get it in their head that they're going to sweep under the ball. And if you know, take that four or five shots, that's going to allow them to get that feel in their head. Then we're going to go to the second drill. Second drill is going to be you could use a hula hoop or a plate. Right today, we're going to use a towel. What we're going to do is we're going to hit four or five shots, utilizing those same steps that we talked about. You know, getting a single plane, sweeping under the ball, having dead hands. And once we figure out, you know, where our miss, our average shots are. probably want to have a little bit of a fluffier lie here than this tight lie. And we're going to pick out a few shots, then we're going to place the towel or hula hoop or whatever at that average area. And then they're going to go, they're going to hit 20 more balls, and that's going to teach them how to do distance control by hitting the same full swing, dead hands, sliding right underneath the ball. And you'll hit something like that, of course. But the goal is, with this drill, to really figure out distance control and how far those shots are going to go. And then my third drill <coughs> would be to take a golf ball, place it underneath your left heel, and then just pretty much build everything that we've been talking about together. And the reason that I have a golf ball underneath my left heel is because I don't want to de-loft this club at all. I want to make sure that, you know, if we get up onto our left foot, we're going to be de-lofting. We're going to either hit it fat or thin like the last one. The ball under my left heel allows the club to be utilized the maximum amount of loft. So even if I do open it up slightly or whatever, I have to stay back because I can't put a bunch of pressure up on my left foot. And these are just little, like I said, three drills that are going to help you practice executing flop shots. Any questions? <coughs>